Hi, Lindy Goodall here with Lindy G Embroidery. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create a diskette for your Viking Designer 1 embroidery machine or similar embroidery machine. So I already have Converted Mac open and I've navigated to the files that I want to convert. So in this case, it's Crazy for Cupcakes and I have the VP3 files open. So this collection has 20 designs, 10 of which are applique, 10 of which are red work. So I might want to consider that when I'm organizing my media for my machine. So let's start by clicking Disk Manager on the toolbar. You see that we have a new work area down here in the bottom. We can choose floppy disk or USB stick. I'm going to stick with floppy disk. And we have our SHV disk set up there with the four menus and looks pretty normal. So what I need to do is select what menu I want to copy the files to. This only has a default of six cells or six spaces for designs. And to set it to more, I need to select something from this pop-down menu, the Menu Size button. I can have up to 36 files on, on a menu, or I select one that is closer to the size for my designs. In this case, I think I'm going to put the appliques on menu 1 and the red works on menu 2. So I'm going to set a size of 4 by 3. So 12 cells for 10 designs. So now I need to select my designs and I'm going to hold down the shift key, select this whole first row, hold down the command key, add to that selection, and then hit the down arrow. And there are the designs popped into menu 1. So I can do the same thing with menu 2. Select menu 2, set the menu size, se select my designs, hold down the shift key, then hold down the command key. Let's scroll down so you can see that those are selected. And then I'll hit that down arrow to add them to the menu. So there they are. Now I'm ready to write my floppy. Now I don't have a floppy disk device attached to this computer. So I can just write it to my hard disk. So in this case we're just going to write it to the desktop. And what will happen is the folders will get created on the desktop. So now if I minimize that, you can see there are my folders. And that's just how easy it is to create media for your Viking sewing machine. Now what if I want to read in a floppy or add to a floppy that I've already created? Well, it's just like you do with the disk reader on the, the Viking software. You're going to read in the floppy. The designs will populate the menus. You'll click the designs that you want. You add them to the group. And then you're going to write your floppy again. So it's very simple. It might be confusing the first time you do it because it's different. But once you've done it once, it's a piece of cake. So I hope this clears up any issues you've had with creating floppy disks for your Viking Designer 1 machine and come back and check out our other videos.